Hello. In this video, I show you how to deploy Nikivo backup and replication in a Proxmox environment and then use it to backup and recover Proxmox VM data. With Nikivo backup and replication, you can discover Proxmox VMs as physical machines and use an agent-based approach to backup and recover VM data when needed. There are three ways to install the Nikivo backup and replication solution in a Proxmox environment. You can install the solution directly on the hypervisor operating system, which is based on Debian. Alternatively, you can deploy it as a VMware or Nutanix virtual appliance within Proxmox, or manually install it within an existing VM operating system. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy Nikivo backup and replication as a pre-configured virtual appliance. Before we begin, if you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section below. We will have our experts answer them for you. First, we create a VM within the Proxmox hypervisor to host the Nikivo virtual appliance. To do so, log into your Proxmox web interface, navigate to your hypervisor, and click Create VM in the top right corner. On the VM installation wizard, enter a name for your VM, such as Nikivo. You can leave the VM ID as default or modify it if needed. If you're using a Proxmox cluster, you can choose the preferred resource pool to allocate the VM's resources. Click Next. Since we're using a pre-configured virtual appliance package, we don't need to specify any installation disk, so we select the Do Not Use Any Media option. Keep all other options at their default values, then click Next. Leave system settings to default or configure them as needed and click Next. Under Disks, remove the default SCSI Zero disk created by Proxmox if you're not planning to use it. We will instead create our own further along in the video. Next, we need to allocate some resources for the virtual machine we're creating. We specify two cores for the CPU configuration and at least 4 GB for memory or RAM, which is the minimum requirement for an installation of Nikivo backup and replication. In the Network tab, we configure the VM's network settings. We'll use a Vert IO para virtualized interface for high performance network communication within Proxmox. We'll also use the common default bridge VMBR0 as a central network switch for VMs. Finally, we confirm the VM settings and click Finish to create the VM. Here it is. You can click on the VM to see its specifications and options. Now, let's import the Nikivo virtual appliance into the VM we created. Log into your Proxmox host using a PowerShell SSH client or the built-in shell tool in Proxmox. For this demo, I'm using a PowerShell for login. Make sure you've downloaded the virtual appliance package from the Nikivo website. You can find the download links in the video description. In the SSH client, enter the command wget followed by the download link. Press enter and wait for the download to finish. Once done, you can find the downloaded package in the root folder on your Proxmox server. The zip archive we downloaded contains the VMDK file needed to run the Nikivo virtual appliance, which we need to extract. To do so, enter the command tar xvf followed by the name of the VMDK file. Press enter to extract the file. You only need the VMDK file for the virtual appliance. Once the extraction process is complete, you can safely delete all other files. Next, you need to import the disk image into your Proxmox VE. To do so, run the command. QM import disk. VM name. VMDK file name. Data store name. Just replace the placeholders with the name of the virtual machine you created earlier, the VMDK file name you extracted, and the data store name. You can find a list of available data stores on the left side of the Proxmox console. For this demo, I'm using a local data store on the LVM volume. Press Enter to start the import process. Once the import is complete, navigate to the newly created virtual appliance to add the storage disk. On the right side of the Proxmox console, click on Use Disk and configure the disk settings. I'm changing the bus slash device to SATA for better performance with multiple virtual disks. As you can see, Proxmox has already detected the disk we imported. Click Add. You can further tune the disk performance by clicking on Hard Disk. Finally, navigate to Options and locate the boot order setting. Make sure only the imported VMDK file is listed. This ensures the VM boots from the correct disk containing the Nikivo virtual appliance. Once you've verified the settings, click Start to boot the VM. You can open the console to monitor the boot process. And here it is. The Nikivo virtual appliance is up and running. And that concludes our how to video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also use the link in the description to download a free trial version of Nikivo backup and replication and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.